Welcome back guys, in this tutorial we're going to be finishing off everything that you need uh, in order to to when you press uh, this button and this one uh, you're going to be able to save the information as well as open it with notepad okay so let's uh, go back to the main window okay and we're going to instantiate um, uh, the time the time class and the save to file okay so I'm going to say time, I'm going to call it time equals to new time. Then I'm going to say save to file to file save equals to new save to file. Okay. So as you can see, uh, are these two. So this is the time and this is the save to file. Okay. So now if I go down below and here I'm going to create a, a method which uh, which will allow us to to create a, an, an access uh, to, to, to add an, ac uh, an action listener uh, to these buttons okay so I'm going to say deal with the buttons and this you can name, you can name it whatever you want and I'm going to say DB equals to new deal with buttons okay so now I'm going to say b1 dot add action listener and what action listener I'm gonna say db okay and the same holds for button two okay so we're gonna be adding uh, this action listener and we need to come down and create uh, this method or actually this class okay so I'm going to say private private uh, deal with buttons implements implements action listener and as you can see this is an interface and I need to say private class sorry private class okay so as you can see this is an interface and whenever you implement an interface you must um, uh, use all the methods within that class okay so I'm gonna add unimplemented methods and as you can see Eclipse is smart enough to figure out what methods I need to implement okay so this at override is just saying that you are overriding the method okay so I'm going to delete this to do comment and now I'm going to say if e dot get source okay get source equals to b1 what do I want to do okay so this e comes from here so this is the action and the get source means uh, get the button get uh, get the button what button was pressed okay was clicked okay so if it is equal equal to button one uh, what I want to do okay so I'm gonna create a print writer okay print writer PR equals to save dot create file okay so this save that create file is the method from from this uh, from this class okay and then we need to specify a path okay so I'm gonna go back uh, to to my documents and I'm gonna rename this I'm gonna say hello file just like that and then I'm gonna get the full path okay so I'm gonna copy that and put it inside here so make sure that you put these inside double quotes okay as well as use uh, uh, I think yeah forward backslashes okay otherwise it won't work so just like that then I'm gonna name the file so I'm going to say uh, hello dot txt okay if you wanted a document uh, a word document you would say dot doc okay so for the time being, I'm just going to say txt. So now I'm going to use the method uh, to save to a file uh, from my save to file class. Okay, so I'm going to say save dot print to file and what text that that do I want to print? Okay, so I want to print to a file the ta dot get text. Okay, so this is going to get the text for me. And the text will be strings, okay. Dot trim, and this trim 
will get rid of extra spaces for me and the print writer will be this one here okay this one is equal to this one so now i'm going to say save dot uh, print to file okay so now i want to save the date okay so i'm going to say time dot get date okay and i'm going to send it to pr similarly i'm going to do save dot print to file and i'm going to say time dot get time so we're going to be getting the time and we're going to add an uh, a space okay whenever we 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 send any text to to the file okay to the text file so i'm going to say add space this was a method that i have defined in the in the last tutorial so now if i run the program okay so just let me run this so you guys can see what's going on so if i say hello and just press save so as you can see no information but if we check the file as you can see i've got the hello file and if i open it as you can see there's nothing inside and the reason why is because we need to close the file once we open the connection we need to close the file because at the moment the file is is not closed so we need to is open so we need to to close it so i'm going to say pr dot close okay so this will close the file so if i press okay and then i say just that save then go back to the files and then open it as you can see uh it says uh that and then wednesday uh blah 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 so as you can see i've got an error here so yeah so it says wednesday january uh, 16 2013 but i need the time so let me go back and fix that quickly so let me go back so let me go to the time and let me see the error so the error was uh, time format s2 so we're gonna okay so we want the time instance get the full new local <clears throat> sorry uh return s1 okay so what's going on what's the problem uh, let me figure this out and then I'll, I'm gonna come back okay so the the mistake was because I didn't uh, name this time format okay so now if I run this sorry about that guys so if I run this now and what's going on what's going on if I run this uh, time format not format format so now if I run this and send information so I'm going to say uh, hola in portuguese so if i save this and go back to the file open it and as you can see it says hola and wednesday january da 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 and this is the current time okay so now if i send another information so let me say hello in english press save let me just let me close this press save as you can see now i've got hello so but i don't want this i want the information to append each time as I send um, um, any information to a file okay so if you go to your uh, save to file and as you can see over here it takes a a boolean value okay so we're gonna say true true because we want to append any any information if you don't want to do that you just uh, simply say false okay but I'm gonna say true so now if i run the code and as you can see hopefully it should work so i'm going to say hello save and then hola and save so now if i open the file as you can see i've got hello this is the first time that i've added the file and then i've said hello and then hola okay so this is pretty much what we need to do but just let me polish this this code up so I'm gonna add some some information, some uh, some dialog box to to let the know to let the user know that uh, everything was was fine and the data was sent to a file. So I'm gonna create an int uh, variable. I'm gonna say option op option equals to j. Uh, what is it? J ah i forgot i forgot i forgot well done uh, 
J option pain <laughs> J option J option pain dot show confirm dialog box okay so I'm going to say no and here I'm going to say do you do you want oops want to save okay so I'm just gonna leave it like this you can add other other parameters inside but I'm just gonna leave it as simple and then I'm going to say if option equals to zero and zero means yes I want you to do this okay just like that then I'm going to say ta once everything is done I'm going to say ta dot set text to empty okay just like that and just let me show you show you guys what's going on here so if I say da 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 if I say save as you can see it says do you want to save if I say no it won't save if I say yes as you can see the information um, was saved to the text file as you can see da 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 is there okay so now we need to code the button two so this is done so we're gonna say so now if if uh, obviously uh, let me see yeah so inside the main the action perform method okay oops just like that so now I'm going to say if e dot get source equals b2 what we want to happen okay so this is where the button will open the the file using uh, notepad okay so i'm going to create the desktop the desk top um, i'm going to call it desktop and this is from java so i'm going to say equals to desktop dot get desktop simple as that okay but before that my bad i need to create a connection to a file okay so i'm going to say f equals to new file okay and what file this one so i'm going to copy that and just put it inside uh, inside there okay uh, not there inside here just like that Control shift o to import everything and semicolon there okay so now i just need to to put like three lines of code and we are done so i'm going to say if yeah if f dot exists so if it does exist i want you to do something okay i'm going to say i want you to do something so if exists i want you to do something and inside this if statement i'm going to put another if so i'm going to say if f dot length yeah is greater than zero i want you to do something okay so what do i want to do so i want to say uh, desktop desktop dot edit okay and what do we want to edit the f the file f and it's gonna be just like that and not file f just f and as you can see i've got an error and this is because i need to surround it with try and crack and catch block um try and catch uh code okay so just leave it as it is so now let's um open let's try and do that so as you can see let me save something let me say hello i am well let's save yes and then open with open 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 file with notepad as you can see yes it worked so that's it guys thanks for watching my tutorial and maybe uh, uh in this code and this this bit i could have done just a little bit better but i'm just gonna leave it as it is because uh it does the necessary but for other situation i would have uh, done i would have i would have done this this bit a little bit better okay so I i'm gonna leave a task for you guys so the task will be uh, to create a j menu bar okay at the top and 
whenever you uh yeah j menu bar and then having like um one j menu and two menu items and one saying save and the other one saying open and then whenever you click on the save it will save and whenever it clicks on on the open it will open okay so basically you can reuse uh, this code and this one as well okay so thanks for watching my tutorial please 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 don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time thanks